I'm gonna have to stand on my knees for like 30 minutes that this video is going to last because I'm too short to get rally the frame and my tripod just hit me right here and it's hurting me so bad so hi guys and welcome back to my channel I am so happy to be filming right now because I was really feeling like filming a video like right now but last week I filmed like an outfits of the week video that I ended up not liking how it turned out so I didn't publish the video yes last week then this week I was supposed to film a video with my friends but some plans didn't work out and so I didn't have a video for this week if you're watching don't be bad I totally understand but I just didn't have a video and I wasn't motivated to film yesterday then I didn't know what to film and then one of my favorite youtubers posted a video that was like a girl talk and since I asked you to ask me questions yesterday for that mukbang I had questions so I'm gonna answer some of that questions that were related to like being a girl and then I'm gonna leave the rest of the questions for the actual mukbang so yeah I'm only 16 so don't take my advice too seriously so let's just go on to my Instagram follow me by the way if you're not following me already because I really post a lot of stories and stuff on there and let's just so the first question that I'm going to answer I'm go is going to be the first one because it actually I can actually relate to that right now and it is how to wear what you want to school without being afraid of mean girls opinions and I was saying that because right now before I started filming this video I was really indecisive in whether I would wear this t-shirt and this bobby pin right here my tip on like wearing whatever the heck you want is to think that your life is literally like your life and other people's lives are their lives so other people are going to wear what they want because it's your life and then you wear whatever the heck you want because it's your life this year i went to a school that's like kind of art related and so there are people that dress so well and so nice and so differently and so cool there and they just motivate me a lot to like wear the have ever the freak i want and i feel like that helps me a lot to like dress differently even though i also spend a lot of days in like sweatshirts and sweatpants but uh that does motivate me a lot and if you're in a school that the girls wear like skinny jeans and then a black top then obviously that's not gonna help because in the end of the day you're the one who has to spend all day with yourself like you cannot get rid of yourself so you might have just enjoy what you could do the next question is actually something that really touches my heart and thank you to the girl that like DM me this and it was i'm in a class with 20 boys and five girls in the beginning it wasn't as bad but now that they are more comfortable they are always trying to make us feel bad and saying stupid shit. any tips so basically this year i'm in a class with like 35 people and we probably have like five boys and 30 girls which is the complete opposite from the class i was in last year and i can really relate to what you're saying in the situation that i was last year guys in this age can be really stupid and really stupid i don't know why they feel like they have to say those stupid comments but i definitely know what you're saying you cannot wear like shorts in summer because it's freaking hot because they're going to comment it you cannot wear a skirt because they will comment it you cannot put a photo or they will comment it like you're just living your life and you don't even care about what boys are doing but they are just going to think that you're doing that to caught them atten they, their attention and that just annoys me so much annoys 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 my tip is to not give them any attention do not respond back do not look back at them do not say anything because what they want is attention they just want attention for girls and if you don't respond back then they're just going to feel like they're speaking to a wall and so they're going to feel embarrassed and the next time they won't speak to you because they know that they won't affect you and all they want is to affect you so yeah it's so bad that we as girls have to deal with all of that stupidity because like i didn't sign up for that you know if you feel like the guys are worth talking to them then definitely like say something but if they're just too stupid to even listen to you then just shut up and pretend like they're not there because they will eventually shut up because no one likes talking to walls uh the other question is how to know how to deal with not knowing what you want to pursue in life so this week i've been actually really anxious because i realized that all of the things i thought i wanted to pursue i don't know if i want to pursue it anymore or i don't know if i will get to pursue them or i just have so many things that i love 
and I am definitely in the same position as you because I don't know if in the United States you choose subjects but here where I live you have to choose an area when you go to high school and I think that that's really early because I definitely love arts and I don't regret at all going to arts but I'd also love to have some subjects like from sciences or from economy I mean I love all the subjects that I have in my area but it's just really limiting and so sometimes I just get really nervous if I should have had pursued arts or gone to sciences and then do something related to arts after I, I don't know but I definitely know what you're, how you're feeling just keep going try having good grades at like everything that way independently of what you choose you will always will be able to go to that area you have a lot of open doors also don't stress about it too much and focus a lot on doing the things that you love because if you follow your passions and you find new passions then you will get to know yourself better and what you want and you can think about professions and jobs in those areas and you'll eventually find a job that suits you that's definitely me speaking to myself right now because oh my god i was sitting on my oh my god my my feet my feet, my feet. i was sitting on my feet on my knees for like 10 minutes because if i don't i just look like a potato in the end of the frame but now i have really bad cramp oh my god the next question is how to deal with boys I had posted like another insta story of like me asking you to ask me questions about being a girl and I didn't thought that you were gonna ask this quickly so here's a question that one of you asked so basically you asked uh, she asked most of my friends are boys I love hanging out with them because they are so much easier and chiller the thing is now people started to slut shame me what do I do this is another thing that really messes with my head. I also love hanging out with boys and the majority of my best friends are boys because I hate girls that like create drama and create like stupid situations out of nothing and that are always searching for things to like attack you. Like what is your clear I also hang out a lot with boys and I get what you're saying. I've never been like slut shamed or dealt with like stupid comments for me hanging out with boys but obviously sometimes people think that I'm dating this boy or they're having like a thing and we're just like freaking friends because I love hanging out with boys honestly just keep hanging out with them if they're seeing that about you it's probably because they have nothing better to do with their lives what is this like, thank you if you get back to them and attack them back you're going to be looking for revenge so what you should do probably is just to ignore that and laugh at their face like if you're, you're saying that you're just like <laughs> what and then like keep going and looking don't look back i think all they want is just tea and juice and beef and all of those foods and you don't want to give them food you want their conversation to die so don't feed that conversation oh my god you guys are like being so vulnerable and i'm just like <laughs> so the next thing you said like right now was I don't really like my body and so every time I have pee which is like physical education uh, I go to the bathroom to change myself instead of changing in a room where everyone instead of changing in front of everyone but my friends make fun of me for that how can I accept my body so I think that's what we all want first of all if they're making fun I, if they're like making fun at you for that and they're not really your friends and you should explain the situation or just get new friends because that's not nice and second of all if you really want to change in the bathroom just change in your bathroom like there's nothing wrong with that that's why bathrooms are always there um but i definitely think that you shouldn't go to the bathroom because you hate your body you should love your body and so i think that in the century that we're living in, we really focus on ourselves and our bodies and how we look and our appearance. And we sometimes can be a little bit narcissistic. And so try looking at other people's bodies and seeing that none of them are perfect. And you know, we all have flaws and we all have things that aren't equal to the beauty body standard that society puts upon us so everyone is just trying to accept themselves and if they're making fun of you it's probably because they're not feeling good at themselves because when you're happy 
and feeling good about yourself, you will not feel the necessity to put others down. If your insecurity is something that you can change, then maybe work out, try eating healthier and change that. But if it's just like something genetic, your body is your temple and your body is your home, is where you're going to live for the rest of your life, you cannot get rid of it. It's your body and you should treat it like it's your best friend. I think that we as humans are always searching for like perfection and we are always constantly feeling the need to search for like imperfections and things that we can like get better. So even if tomorrow all of your insecurities were like run away, you'd probably find more things to complain about because that's just human nature. So try seeing all of the good things that you have in your body and that could be so much worse and try treating it and treating yourself better. And it definitely starts here and not here. So try changing up your mindset and I think that will make you feel better. And yeah, these were not a lot of questions, but you also didn't ask me that many questions and I want to save some for the mukbang. So this was a video, I really hope you like it. I'm going to try to edit it and upload it in two days, which is really on time, but I really hope I can. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope this was somehow useful and I know that this doesn't match with this colors, but the lighting was just too good here. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!